Hey, 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 welcome to another episode of Game Fixes, part 2B, where we're looking to main configs. The last two games we looked at were... Oh, sorry, last one game we looked at was Indie Heat. Next two will be this one, Gang Wars, and also we will check out Mortal Kombat. Yeah, this one. Yep. Mortal Kombat. Alright, so we'll first jump into MAME. Remember, MAME can quickly make a configuration. Oh, what? Oh no. Our MAME 0.139 ROM ain't looking so good. So we're gonna copy over one from 0.219. This is the, uh, the newest MAME ROM. Which should definitely work with uh, MAME64. We only need this to uh, make a configuration, remember? So let's... Load Gang Wars. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we hit Tab. Then the input for this machine. And then we pop in our joypad control configuration. Have a quick check in the MAME64, see if the buttons work alright for both players. Seem they do. Then we hit escape. And we copy over the configuration we just made with MAME64. Gonna copy it to RMC Games Gang Wars. Copy paste. Replace. We'll jump straight into this one. Okay, there's uh, one thing that's a bit different to the Indie Heat config. Can you see? Can you guess what it is? Let's compare. Indie Heat. Remember this one was working perfectly in the last episode? Haha. -ha. D-pad right, D-pad left. Haha. -ha. So I'm just going to pop into MAME again. Let's use the D-pad this time. Remember the D-pad worked fine with our Pandora control. So we're gonna change all of these. Ah, copy the configuration again. Paste. Okay, now let's get to work. Edit with no plus, blah, 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 blah. All right. First, we're going to hit replace. Find what? The colon. We need all them colons out. Replace all. Boom. All right. So far, so good. I don't think there's much work to be done here. Alright, let's save it. Let's see how it works. Oh, yep. Remove all these games here. Just to make sure it installs the new configuration. And it looks like player two ain't working at all. Something's wrong there. Okay, back to Gang Wars configuration. Let's have a look. What could be the problem? Do 
Okay, coin two is assigned to button eight. Okay. Hmm, wait a second. Joy code one, button eight. That means player one's button eight. Player one's start button is assigned to coin two. Wait, oh, that's okay. Wait. Start two, ah, is assigned to button seven. Yeah, let's flick this to button eight. And let's change this maybe to, um, let's have something that we can use. Let's have button four for Joyco two. So one thing you can check in MAME is uh, the dip switches here. I reckon if we change coin slots to one, maybe here, we can uh, save the configuration. Perhaps in our config, I don't know. Give it a try. Okay, this time I'm just gonna check out the configuration and look here, it's added a dip switch setting. Okay. So I'm gonna copy this. This whole line. And then I'm gonna plonk it in our configuration. See if anything changes. Yeah, it was before the input. Yeah, remove the colon. And then let's give that a try. Okay, oh, make sure you delete the game <laughs> folder, but yeah. Okay, it looks like we can uh, add credits in now and we can play the game. Sweet. Okay, so what you got? Kick, punch, jump, kick, punch. All right, if we check out the actual cabinet of Gang Wars, we have a weird configuration, and if you compare it to ours, hmm, a bit different, huh? Okay, so I've decided to use uh, numbers one, four, and two for this, okay? So I'm gonna switch the coin two out for button three, which is the top right button, and I'm gonna, hmm, okay, I'm gonna use the very bottom left button on our Pandora, Top left and middle button. So I'm going to change these three buttons here. Five, four, and I think one. Yeah. Do the same for player one. So both players actually have the same configuration. Start two, yep, it needs to be joy code two, button eight. It's very important. And for consistency, I'm gonna add an or here. I'm gonna use that or button three for joy code one. Okay, this way you can add coins with either button. Just using that or modifier. Okay, delete games and let's give it a shot. Oh, credit. Oh, oh yeah. Check this. Start and start. Ooh, what? Okay. Yeah. So now I've got two players and a kind of semi authentic button layout. Nice. Groovy. Oh yeah. Okay, next game is Mortal Kombat. Okay, let's just remove everything here. And I've noticed there's a lot of things to set up. So here's the arcade cabinet. It's five buttons per player. And this is our Pandora. 
Hmm. Okay, I'll just set it up with the, the two pads first. Check this out, coin one, two, three, four. Huh, tilt. Wow, you'd only use that on a pinball machine, right? Okay, so you can see how the credits has jumped up there. They jump up if uh, you use the coin two, coin three, coin four, that's Essentially, how many coins you put into the system. Okay, I'm just uh, having a look at the uh, dip switches here. You can mess about here if you really want to. Well, last game, it didn't really do much. Maybe it has no effect whatsoever. I don't know. So let's copy the MAME configuration over to RMC Games again. MK directory. Okay, so if we can remember the arcade cabinet, button two was for block. So what we can do is maybe add an OR here for button five. We can do that also for player two. I think for button five, we can maybe change that for button six, maybe? So we have a kick. Yeah, there's a button six down here. Um, hmm. I'll see what happens if I change it to seven. Okay, just gonna remove all the colons. I think we should be good. Save. Let's test out the game. Remove everything from the games folder. Let's give it a try. What? Um. Okay, why can't it start? Um. Start one, start two, aha! See what we did wrong? Button seven is pause on the Pandora st stick. So let's switch it out for button eight. I see the coins. Yes, player two has entered the tournament. We're good. Sub Zero versus Scorpion. Oh, everything works okay except for player two's sixth button. Where's this blocking? Why is that? Hmm. Okay, so player one has button six, but player two only finishes with button five. Okay, let's try and jerry rig this. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, just copy and paste player one's button six information. 
and we're gonna make one for play two. So, right click copy. And let's check out the patterns. Okay, so uh, I'll change this for button uh, player two. So it's P2, player two. And uh, the mask, I don't know, it's like I wanted. I don't even I don't even know if this is important, but I don't know. Let's say uh, double 1024 to 2048. And let's do the same with the def value. Match up. What, button seven? What? <laughs> Is that right? I don't know. Okay, punch, block, kick, whatever. And now it works. What? What did I even do? I don't get it. Games are weird. Yay, we won. Configured. But wait. Dip switches. Yeah, so I decided to um, check this out after doing all the recording. And, uh... Yeah, I just flicked a few dip switches on this game, and uh, let's see if we can, uh, I don't know, copy and paste it back into here, into our game config. See if we can actually change something. And check this out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Upside down. I reckon this could be useful for games that are like, uh, Vertical shooters? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. There's more to come. Please, have a play. See you later, guys. Bye!